What's up, rainbow heads? Welcome back to my channel. If this is not your first time here, hello, how are you? Welcome back. If this is your first time here, hello, how are you? My name is Caitlin Ford. I am a 10 year veteran hairstylist as well as an award winning hair colorist who specializes in really, really weird hair. So today I'm really excited to show you guys this look. It was actually originally supposed to be a part of my Halloween hair series. And yeah, that did not happen to say the least. Um, yeah, life gets in the way sometimes you guys, so it didn't happen for Halloween, but I was really excited about trying this and so I decided to go ahead and continue with this idea. So I decided to try out the inverted makeup challenge. I saw this on Lithium Snow's page as well as Nikki Tutorials and I just thought it was super, super cool. And I really was inspired because I wanted to try doing an inverted palette on hair. I wanted to do a rainbow hair look on one side and then invert the colors on the other side of the wig I thought it would be a really cool way to add like a unique twist to this challenge so this is what I'm going to be demoing for you guys today so if you love seeing really crazy hair transformations get ready this is gonna be a good one and the cool thing about this is even if this isn't necessarily something that you plan on doing on a head of hair there are still a lot of really great techniques in this video that you can take and change and make it your own do your own colors with it. And yeah, we're just gonna have a really good hair time today. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Also, again, in this video, I did not glue my wig down. So at the end, you're going to see that the wig is not fully glued down. And that is because not in this video, but in a future video, I am going to be giving this wig away. I'm using it to create a little bit more content. I wanna do some styling and stuff like that on it in some future video work. Um, but I will be giving it away in an upcoming video probably next month sometime. So if you wanna win this wig, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and keep an eye out for that video. In fact, one of my goals for next year is to do quite a few giveaways, so if you like free stuff, subscribe. Also, as you can see, my bangs are finally freshly colored and I do have a brand new bang tutorial coming out next week, so if you wanna check that out, Again, yet another great reason to subscribe to this channel. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So I gotta say you guys, in my last video when I was editing it, I was a little ashamed of how horrendous my wig form was looking. It probably goes without saying, I have forgotten to cover her a few times before coloring her. Oopsie. So I decided to give her a little bit of a makeover. So since she was almost stained completely black already, I decided to go ahead and paint her black and give her this down diamond encrusted choker because she's super bougie. What do you think about my wig forms makeover? Drop a comment down below. Just over here, you know, serving up looks on everything we can serve up a look on. Obviously for today's look, there will be two different color palettes that we're working with. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our first color palette on our non-inverted side, which is going to be a rainbow again, because everybody loves rainbows. We're gonna change it up a little bit though by putting our violet at the very top of our rainbow. So our color palette is going to be violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And just to add a little bit of contrast and something a little bit extra interesting to play with whenever I go to invert the color, I'm gonna go ahead and frame everything out in black. So we're going to have a black root and then a little bit of black on the very ends of the hair. To section for this placement, I divided the hair in half down the middle to separate our inverted side from our Roy G. Biv rainbow side. Only since our rainbow palette is upside down instead of Roy G. Biv, it's more like Vibgior, Vibgior? I don't know, something like that. Next, I divided the sides into three sections. Section one from the corner of what would be the forehead to the part line. Section two was divided off to just behind where the ear would be. And then section three was of course the back. Before I get started with my color, I'm pinning some foam mesh strips down in front of my first section just to make sure the other side of the hair and the lace is somewhat protected. Putting these mesh strips down is made a lot easier with the fact that my wig form doesn't mind being stabbed in the head with pins. If you're doing this on an actual person, they probably won't appreciate being stabbed in the head. Just FYI, so you would probably be better off securing your mesh with clips if that's the case. With section number one, I took my first parting slightly on a diagonal and laid my colors down, starting with the lines fairly narrow because when I cut this hair, I added layers that were shorter in the front in the face frame and got longer towards the back of the hair. So I'm compensating for that by starting off creating narrow lines in the first partings and then they'll get wider and wider as the hair gets longer with each new parting.
Once we finish that first section, we're going to continue through to section two, taking vertical partings, pulling the hair towards the face. We're using something that hairdressers refer to as over direction. Over direction is a really key component. It's a really key technique in doing a lot of things related to hair. Up until now, I've kind of avoided getting too overly technical with what I'm saying because I know that a lot of you guys are just here to kind of see what happens with this hair, how it turns out. And then some of you guys are hairdressers. Some of you guys are interested in the more technical aspect. So I'm trying to find a fine balance between offering the best of both worlds. So something I'm gonna be focusing on in the new year is devoting myself to creating one video a month that's going to be more of like an actual hair lesson, like literally what I've learned in cosmetology school and kind of going over defining some of the terms and explaining some of the technical aspects of doing hair so that those of you who want a little bit more of an understanding of what I'm saying in these videos can follow along more easily. And for those of you who maybe the technical side is not so much your thing, you'll still be able to enjoy the cool, fun color videos that are a little bit more lighthearted and get to the point a little bit more. But yeah, if you wanna learn a little bit more about over direction, if you wanna learn about a lot of the other more technical aspects of doing hair, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And we're gonna be going way more in depth about hair next year. I'm super excited about this series, you guys. Anyway, this over direction is going to help create lines that move back away from the face in a very beautiful way. When you see beautiful face framing layers and you curl them and they just kind of sweep away from the face in a really soft way, that's what's gonna happen with this color too in the way that it's being placed. As I mentioned in previous videos, I like to sometimes prime the surface of my mesh by painting it with color before I lay my parting down on top of it. This helps to saturate the back of your first section with the color. Once I get to the back section, I switch to slightly diagonal partings again and continue the painting process until I am finished. beautiful thing that is peeling off mesh strips. It feels a little bit naughty, like I'm undressing her or something, but it just looks so satisfying. After letting the color sit on for about 20 minutes, I went ahead and rinsed my wig off with really, really, really cold water. You always wanna make sure you use ice cold water whenever you're rinsing out colors like this to help prevent it from bleeding. And you also wanna go ahead and skip shampooing when you rinse these colors out. So now we're just going to blow dry and enjoy this silky, beautiful color. It just turned out so great on this side. It makes me even more pumped about doing the other side of the hair. So I'm just gonna keep it 100 here, y'all. I totally cheated to create this look. Went ahead and I took a screenshot of my video footage, opened it in Photoshop, inverted the color, and bam, I had a reference. So as you can see, when I inverted the image, the color palette that we ended up with was white, yellow, orange, pink, violet, a deep blue, a cyan blue, and then white at the ends, of course. And so I took my leftover color, I mixed it and converted it into our inverted tones and added colors as needed for this. And then we're ready to rock and roll on our inverted side. So now that we've already done this process on one side of the head, just with different colors, it's just a matter of repeating the same placement on this side, but with our new colors. I started my first section by looking at the first little bit of hair on the finished side. 
and I tried to line up each corresponding inverted tone as best as I could and then followed my placement. I did one little change up on this side of the head. I'm always trying to find other ways to do my work process that's gonna make my life a little bit easier. So I experimented today with putting on balayage strips as I usually do, pressing my new sections into my old sections. However, I decided to leave the balayage film on the hair and I peeled back one stripe at a time. That way it would hold down the flyaways and make it a little bit easier to control the hair overall while I was painting. I really liked this method. I thought it worked really, really well. And for those of you wondering, this film is by Framar. It is a biodegradable film. So a little bit more environmentally friendly than some of the plastic alternatives out there. Other than that, everything on this side was pretty much exactly the same. So we're just going to keep repeating what we've been doing until we finish up the head. Once I finished my inverted side, I let the color sit for 20 minutes and then I rinse with cold water again. Again, no shampoo and blow dry. Then I curled my wig using my largest barrel in my Amica Chameleon Wand set. I believe it is a one and a half inch barrel. And I set my waves using Color Wow hairspray. And with that, my wig was finally complete and now it is time to slay my face. Again, for this look, I started by cheating, taking a picture of my face, pulled it open in Photoshop, and inverted the color so I would have a reference. For my makeup, I mostly use this Anastasia Cream Makeup Palette and these two cream makeup colors from Inglot. Since there's so much black in this look, I decided to play it safe by laying white down where I'd need it first since it'll probably be easier for me to go darker than lighter. And then I started very slowly building in the dark colors, the greens, the blues. This makeup definitely tested all of my makeup abilities, but overall I'm really happy with the results. To be honest, I did get a little bit of a stain on the part, so like don't tell anybody about that. It did not turn out absolutely perfect, which I could go through and touch up with a little bit of bleach, but God damn it, this hair color took me forever to do and I just did not have the energy to fix it in the end in the interest of full disclosure. Oopsies do absolutely happen. This is a hand done process and as with anything handmade, sometimes things aren't a thousand percent perfect. And despite a couple of little flaws in the color, overall I feel like this turned out extremely, extremely beautiful. I'm very happy with it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I am so freaking happy with how this came out. I was so nervous about doing the makeup on this side of my face. I had no idea if I was gonna be able to pull it off or not. But honestly, like I'm really proud of the job that I was able to do on the makeup as well as the hair. I mean, the hair really does look dead on with the inverted palette. I am so excited about that. This was a super, super fun challenge. And I just love how blended the colors look. They just look so pretty together. And honestly, even though this is kind of an unusual palette and starting from like white down to like colors is kind of an unusual way to do it, I feel like the side still looks super, super cool. Obviously it goes without saying that this side is awesome because it's rainbow and you can't go wrong with rainbow. But I just love the palette on this side. Like I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, even though these colors wouldn't necessarily go together, somehow I feel like it kind of works. <laughs> 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry it was such a long time coming. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this was originally supposed to be part of my Halloween hair series. I got a couple of comments from you guys in my last hair video saying that you actually didn't really care if it was Halloween or not. You enjoyed me doing these sort of looks that are inspired by makeup. So if you, if you guys are into this, please let me know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to keep doing more hair looks that are inspired by different makeup looks that we're seeing all over the internet because I think this is a it's a really fun challenge for me to do it I enjoy doing it so if you guys are really liking this just drop a comment down below if you enjoyed this video if you learned something new if you thought it was fun entertaining whatever give me a thumbs up let me know that you liked it it seriously helps me out so much you guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button down there right there I think it's down here I'm not I'm not exactly sure. If you want to make sure that you catch my latest hair tutorials, my latest hair weirdness, because there's more weirdness ahead. But until next time, remember guys, hair completes the look. I'll see you later, rainbow heads. One more thing I would like to add to this. If you've been following me for a while, you know that my uploads are not the most consistent. It is something that I'm definitely working on for the new year. But tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a new video as well because I am actually going to be entering into the James Charles Micro Influencer Competition. I just wanna throw this out there because if you guys really like me and you wanna support me, when you see that video uploaded, it would help me out so much if you could watch the full five minute video as well as leave me a like and a comment to let James know that you think that I should be one of the six. Seriously guys, it would mean the world to me if you would take the time to do that and that's why I'm putting that at the end of this video because I figured if you're sticking around all the way to the end, it probably means that you are one of the real MVPs and I could use all the real MVPs that I can get to help me out with this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.